We have a piece of equipment in the NIST uh, design department called a dome blower. This will allow you to make acrylic dome shapes uh, for various reasons, depending on what your design is. <clears throat> to draw something like that, if that's part of your design, uh, the first thing we're going to do is to draw a circle. Now the diameter of that circle will depend on what size of dome that you want. If you go to the dome information board next to the dome blower, it will tell you that there's three different sizes and what sizes they are. I'm going to go for the smallest one, which is uh, 160 millimeters in diameter. But I'm, what I'm drawing first is the little lip at the bottom of it uh, that is extended from the dome to help us screw things together. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a few seconds. So I'm going to make that 120 sorry, 170. Uh, I'm going to extrude that, because it's just a two-dimensional drawing, to three millimeters, because the acrylic we have in this is mostly three millimeters. Uh, I'm going to do that. The next thing I want to do is to draw a circle on top of that bit that I've just drawn. So not on any of these three parts, but on top of the part I've just drawn. So you can see there that's highlighted, so I'll click on that. And I'm going to make that the actual size diameter of the dome. So in this case, the small one, it's 160, like that, and confirm that. I'm also going to draw a line down the middle of that circle I've just drawn. Now, I want to trim away half of that circle I've just drawn. So if we're going to sketch, you can see trim there. If I move over that line, now I'm left with half a circle. Now, what we're going to do with that half circle is revolve it around to make the dome part. So revolve is in create, uh, and we click on revolve. It will ask for two things. It asks for a profile. The profile is the shape I want to revolve, so I'm going to re click on that one. And I want an axis, so I want to revolve that shape around a line as an axis. So I click on that. That gives me a, a dome. It's automatically set to 180 degrees. Obviously, if I wanted a full circle, I could just do 360, or sorry, that's 260, 360. That would give me a full circle, but I don't want that. So I'm going to put 180. I want it to join the other piece because I want them to be one piece. So I'm happy with join, uh, and I click OK, and then you can see there I have a dome shape. Now, the dome blower will make a hollow shape, and this isn't hollow. It's got a, a, a full body here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Modify and Shell. Now, what Shell does is it hollows out uh, solid objects. So I click on Shell and click on the bottom here. I can say what size I want uh, the wall of the dome to be. Now we know the acrylic is three millimeters, so I hit three. That hollows that out. And I can see there that I have a hollow dome that I can do and have a look at there. Now there's no materials on that, so it just stays looking like a solid. If I go to Modify and Appearance, I can choose some plastic transparent, I've got clear acrylic there, I click with the left mouse button and drag it across and put it on there and suddenly it becomes transparent. We've got uh, the dome and the bit I was talking about with is the lip, this part here we usually leave when we dome blow because then it allows us to put holes in that and put screws in it for, to attach it to other uh, pieces of your idea. Okay, there is another way you could potentially draw uh, a dome from the dome blower. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. We're going to draw. start off with a circle. Uh, and I'm going to draw it facing up. The smallest dome is 160 millimeters in diameter, so I'm going to use that. Uh, you can obviously choose the right diameter depending on what dome you're going to create. There's three different styles, uh, sorry, sizes of dome. I'm going to go for 160. I'm going to use the line tool here just to draw a line across there, and I want a quarter that circle. I just want a quarter of it. So I'm going to trim away what I don't need. I don't need that bottom half. As I move over the lines, you'll see in red what I can trim away, and I can trim away that. Uh, if I go into this now, I want to create a wall down here, three millimeters away from this line to indicate the, the wall of the acrylic, which is usually three millimeters. So I can use the offset tool. If I click on that, if it selects the whole thing, it's because you've got this chain selection selected. Untick that and it'll just allow you to select one thing. I'm going to drag that down uh, three millimeters, but in this case I'm going backwards, so I'll put minus three like that. Uh, I can then take my line tool and from this point, usually the, the lip is around 10 millimeters from the, the edge, so I'm going to go for 10 and then I'm going to draw a line up here three millimeters because the acrylic is three mil. 
and then I'll just draw a line from that point back to there, nice and straight. I'll stop that sketch, go to revolve, we're still using revolve, we're going to revolve that shape, we're going to revolve this shape and this shape, and the axis is this line here, it's going to revolve around that. We want it to go 360 degrees this time, and there we have a dome, and because we drew the profile of it and revolved it, we don't need to shell it out this time like I did in the previous video. So there's two different ways there you can create a dome with Fusion.